Okay guys, today I'm going to be building a rocket stove. I'm going to try to. Anyways, these are some of the tools that I'm going to need. I have my tin snips right here uh, to cut these these uh, tins. I have my can opener. I have a expo marker. I was trying to find a sharpie, but this is the best I had. And then I have these cans here. Uh, so. I have two number 10 cans, and then I have four, four of the smaller cans. So I'm going to try to build this right now, and I hope it turns out okay. Okay, so the logic I'm using is I'll be uh, I'll be making my tower, my stack, out of these, and then I'm going to have one that kind of pops up out of it right here and uh, this one apparently the research that I've done is you take however large the circle is for for the intake where you're gonna actually feed the the stove which is this part you're gonna feed the wood through there you're supposed to go up like three three uh, three of those up high and so and that's supposed to be like the best, that's supposed to be for the best uh, fire, the best burn, the harder burn, stuff like that. So just kind of remember that as we test it out. So I'm going to test that today using that logic. I'm going to cut my first hole right above the bottom lip here to kind of keep some space from the bottom and the top. And then um, I brought two cans out because I am not quite sure what I want to do with it. I think I might try to do like a a, a double pane uh, or, or double insulated, have two walls. So I'll take one of these out and I'll shrink the circle a little bit and put it in just so that it's, you know, I get uh, a, a little bit more insulation that way. So that's the logic I'm going to use and I am going to build this right now. That worked pretty well. All I did was I took a Sharpie or this little black marker here. I traced around and I just cut it out with the tin snips. I just cut around it and then uh, it's pretty snug. I mean, look at it. It's it's actually working out pretty good well. I'm pretty happy with it so far. So that's the first step I did. Okay, so I just did the same logic and I cut a hole in another can. So, and it fits pretty well. See? There. You can see it. It's pretty good in there. Pretty happy about it. And also, don't worry about screwing up because these cans, like, they're pretty cheap. You probably have a bunch in your house already. So, I mean, if you if you mess it up, who cares? You just kind of fix it as you go along. So, I just stuffed it through. Uh, this is what it looks like. I still have to take the end off of that. And then, uh, that's the, be the beginning makings of a uh, rocket stove, so we'll kind of just see how it goes. But so far it's looking pretty good. Again, I've only spent maybe like five, six, maybe seven minutes on this thing. It's, it's moving real fast. Anyone can do this. This is really simple. Well, here's a problem that I'm coming across when making this. See, this doesn't, this isn't very tall, this number 10 can. Uh, so I, I actually took a, a can and I cut it in half and took the ends out and then I like stuffed it down in there. This is actually two cans by the way. I got one solid can on top and then the folded can underneath. And I, what I was trying to do is just kind of fit that inside it so it'll just sit, which it will do, but it's just so much taller than this can. And uh, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this can in half, this lower can, in half, so it just kind of fits the groove right here. So it goes back and forth, just right here. And uh, so I can just slide it in to place right there. And then uh, it'll just be like one solid unit going up. I think that's what I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna do that, and then uh, I'll let you see what, what happened. I just cut it in half, so you can see where I cut it. Uh, and so now this this side right here will be able to just slide slide in there and like no problem. 
You see that? It'll just slide. And in fact, it'll slide all the way down. But this is here. This piece right here is here for this piece to connect. So I use this piece right here to connect this other can to it so I don't have to get smaller cans uh, or keep slicing them up. Because every time you slice them up, you you uh, weaken the can and you weaken the structure. So that's kind of, that's what I'm going to do. And in fact, I'll be able to use this, this part of the can. I'll actually be able to use this as a, a centerpiece right here to hold my wood up so the air can still flow underneath, underneath the can. So I'm going to use that here. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. I still, I, I'm still debating on using this can to like double insulate. Uh, in here, you know, to just add another ring around it. But I, I haven't quite decided if I want to do that yet. So I have a great idea for this this other can. See, I punched a hole through the top and I put a hole through the bottom because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fit it on here and bring it down to raise the height so that I'll have the three three of these uh, uh, high from the fire. So that's kind of the idea. I'm going to go ahead and put this on now and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, this looks really good. It fit perfectly. Just fit really nice in there. And it kind of extended the height of the uh, stove. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty firm. It's not going anywhere. So I'll be able to, uh, I need to punch a hole out of there and then uh, I'll be ready to go. And then we can test this out and see how, how it works. What I did here is actually a pretty cool idea. But uh, this uh, will act as a lever. Some people like to put like some chicken wire down here or something. You just kind of put the sticks over top. But I learned this trick from that, uh, another video on YouTube, at least forever. Um, and I, I thought it was a pretty good idea, so I, I took it. So uh, I'll put the wood up here. The air will flow down through here, ignite in the uh, tank, and then the fire will rock it up through here. That's kind of the theory. So let's go ahead and start it up and see see what we can get going. Apparently you can cook using twigs. So let me go get some wood and let's try it out. I just lit it up. You can see some fire in there. It's going pretty good. Uh, one quick note, something to remember to do, is to take a, one of your sticks, put it in the top, and light it that way. It's much easier to light. Uh, you kind of see in here a little bit, but you see I got the airflow going underneath. There's really no coals built up yet, but uh, yeah, it's burning. It's going pretty good. You can see the smoke coming off top. Put it on the grill just because I, I don't know how hot it's going to get uh, on the bottom. And so I just wanted to kind of protect my concrete. Holy cow, this thing is going crazy. I just had to film a little bit more just so you could see it. But man, it is hot. Like, it is really taking off. It's going nuts. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. You see that flame? It's just like shoots up. Anyways, this is beam. But uh, it was awesome. You can kind of see, if I go over just a little bit, you can see see how the the wind just kind of catches it up and like twists, the fire twists as it comes up. That's because it's working the way it's supposed to be working. The air is coming in through underneath here, going in, uh, and it swirls up, catches fire, and shoots out the top of the rocket stove. That's exactly how the rocket stove is supposed to work. Okay, so a couple of reasons why rocket stoves are really great. Uh, the first one is, see how there's hardly any smoke coming out of that. I mean, uh, we don't see very much smoke. It releases a lot of heat. Let me touch this to see how hot it is. Ooh, that's really hot. So I need to find a way to insulate it. But uh, it's, it also doesn't take very much wood. And if you want to just start it up a little bit more, you just put a little more wood in there and the flame starts coming back pretty fast. Uh, that's the second reason is it doesn't take very much uh, fuel to to burn. Only you can uh, be self-sustaining, and this is another trick that you can use to cook, to produce heat, 
produce fire, and uh, to provide for your family to be a little bit more self-sufficient. Anyways, remember, bring back the farm.blogspot.com for more updates and to uh, watch more videos. Thanks.